So that's style transfer. So let's say you're a huge fan of both Bob Ross and Pablo Picasso. So if you're a huge fan of those two, you might wonder what it'd be like if you kind of like merge their paintings together. So something you might do is you might study all of Pablo Picasso's paintings. Then as you're painting the Bob Ross painting, you might try to paint it as if you're Pablo Picasso. Now in the context of machine learning, uh, and in our case, Snap ML and Snapchat, it's the same idea. We're just gonna let the computer do all the hard work for us. Let's get started. So the first thing we'll need is a test image. So I just came to Pixbay and I browsed through some pictures of people until I found this one. The next thing you'll need is some sort of style image. Now you want an image that has lots of interesting patterns, textures, colors, uh, something unique, not just a photograph of something. So I found this anime picture on Pixbay that I'm going to use. So earlier I mentioned that the computer is gonna take care of all the hard work for us. Now, if you've never programmed or you've never worked with machine learning, don't worry, the Lin Studio team has provided all the code we need. So let's head over to their website and download it. All right, so on the Lin Studio website, we're just gonna search for style transfer. And that should be the first result to come up in the guides. So just go ahead and click into here. And you can read through if you want. It's basically this tutorial, uh, but we want to find where it says download our example notebook. So to train our model, we're going to use Google Collaboratory or Collaboratory, however you say that. Uh, so just search for Google Collab, come in here, and then you'll want to go ahead and sign in. Okay, once you've signed in, you'll have this little uh, pop-up window here uh, in this yellow bar. Click on upload, choose file, I forgot to mention when you download that file from Lin Studio, it's a zip file. Make sure you unzip it first uh, and then just click into those folders and you'll want to find that style transfer um, file right there. All right, so here we are in the notebook. Now, the first thing we want to do is upload those images we downloaded. So over here on the left, click on this little folder. Uh, give it just a second and now you'll have this button to upload. You might get this message about upload files being deleted when their runtime is recycled. Just click OK. That's just letting you know this is running in the cloud. And so once you close out this tab, it's gonna delete all the files here. All right, so in this notebook, we have some kind of explanation blocks and we have some code blocks. Now, we don't need to modify any of the code except for one small place. So we're gonna scroll down to global variables for training and we're going to make a couple changes on the test image path and the style image path. So this test image in my case is gonna be that uh, picture of the girl that I downloaded. Uh, so I saved that as girl.jpg. You can see the file name over here. So just put that in here, make sure you get the file extension and make sure you have these single quotes. Um, the name should be highlighted kind of in red here. And then for the style image, that's gonna be that anime image that I downloaded. So I'm gonna go anime.jpg. All right, now all these other uh, kind of settings we don't need to change. All right, so with each of these code blocks, we can click this little play button if we hover the mouse and that will run each block. So you can click a few at a time, it'll queue them up. Um, but there's quite a few blocks in here. So instead we can come up to runtime and run all. Now it's gonna start off by downloading and installing a few things. And then if you scroll down here, uh, there are gonna be a few longer steps where it's gonna download a lot of data, it's gonna unzip it. So while these steps are running, you might get a little pop-up message saying, hey, watch out, you're running out of disk space. Don't worry, there is enough space for uh, this training process to finish. All right, so training has finished, it took a few hours and you can see our output now is looking much better than when it first started. So you can still tell it's our original image, but now in the style of that anime image that we used. And our little export block is run. If you don't see a .onnx file over here, uh, just click this button to refresh and you should see a style underscore new dot O N N X or Onyx for short. Uh, so go ahead and download this file. Uh, click these three little dots, download, and then head on over to Lens Studio. All right, now I am in the home screen of Lens Studio and I want to use the style transfer template. So I can either go to file, new project from template and find it. I can search for it, or it's actually already shown up on the home screen for me. Uh, so just choose your favorite way open up the style transfer template. All right, now once the style transfer template is open, all we need to do is come to the resources panel and we want to find that Onyx file that we downloaded from Colab. As you're importing the file, you will have this little model import window come up. Uh, you don't need to change anything here. Just click import. And now your machine learning model will show up down here. Now, all we need to do, click on the ML component, come over here where it says model, and select your own model. And voila, your style transfer is now applied to the image over here.
Now you can see that our model did a pretty good job. Uh, the face got kind of washed out, but it did a really good job of picking up the different strokes and keeping just the two colors. And then you can also see the shading pattern in here as well. So now that you've seen how easy it is to create these style transfer lenses, I'll look around for some cool images. People have done really cool things with like famous paintings like Starry Night or The Great Wave. And then other people have done things like using pictures of spaghetti or cereal for their style images. So get out there, explore, and make something cool.